in the first hello world program if you remember i had included a line called as hash include stdio.h something like this one this means we are including the header file the header file contains global variable declarations and model or prototype declarations of functions like printf scanf square root and so on now this hash include of the header file comes in two variations in the first format we can say hash include angular bracket name of the c header file dot h an example of that could be hash include stdio dot h which stands for standard input output dot h the second approach to include a header file could be hash include double quote user header file dot h this is a header file which comes along with the c standard or the c compiler which we are going to use this u stands for the user created header file so just as c has provided you a header file because it provides a library with functions or code of functions like printf and scanf let us assume you are in a huge project you are doing hundreds of different functions let us assume we are going to use or 10 people are responsible for developing functions which are going to be used by other 90 people so the job of the 10 people is to write code for functions like printf scanf square root power function okay all these are examples of user defined or functions created by the programmers now once these functions are created by these 10 people if you need to use them what you will do is you, those people will create a header file where the prototype or model declaration of all those functions created by them okay are going to be declared or are going to be mentioned in this particular header file so each of the other 90 users can include that particular header file in their code like this they can say hash include projects.h what this means is the code developed by those 10 users is available to me or I indicate to the compiler that I am using the code or the library developed by those other 10 users by this declaration include double quotes project.h this is provided by the C compiler this is your own header file let's try to understand the difference between these two header files so in the first header file okay which starts with the angular braces c header file dot h so what the c compiler does is it will start searching for this particular chap in this particular directory suppose you install code blocks on your c drive so it will start searching from forget this d it will start searching from c colon backslash code blocks assume min gw is the name of your compiler hash include so here is stdio.h mat.h string.h all examples of the standard header files provided by c are going to be in this particular path assuming you are using a code blocks compiler and the compiler or the ide is installed on the c drive in my machine i have installed it on the d drive so my include files the standard include files are going to be in d colon slash code blocks min gw slash include that's the number one difference now suppose as a user you have created the header files that means your 10 people in the project created certain code and you want to inform the compiler that you are going to use these particular functions and since you have not written the code for these particular functions the linker will join the code you have written with the functions code developed by these 10 people so the basic job of the header file is to inform to the compiler that you are including or using certain library functions which have not been developed by you maybe have been developed by other team member or provided by c and the compiler does not need to worry about finding the code for this because the linker at the later stage is going to take your code written and join it with the library code written by your team members or provided by the c library so suppose you create a user defined header file suppose you create a header file called as projects.h that means your team members create this so you will include it like this hash include projects.h so what this does is suppose 
your source program suppose your source program is hello.c it exists in c colon backslash say code blocks so what it will do is it will search for the projects.h in c colon backslash code blocks folder only if it doesn't find it then it will go to the include folder so when it's in double quotes it indicates that this particular header file has been created by you whereas the angular braces indicates that the header file is being supplied by the c language now let's try to understand a few other things of what all this hash include really does for you so the job of the hash include is suppose it encounters a hash include statement like this the preprocessor software encounters the hash include statement like this so what it does is at this particular point in your source code which is the hello.c it will open the stdio.h and it will copy that file and insert it at that particular point in your source code so you can think of this as a copy paste to get a clear understanding of this in the next second or third video i am going to show you the journey of the c program from the source code to the executable in that particular thing you will see how it is included and where it is included now you need to understand preprocessor is a software which comes into picture even before the compilation happens so what the preprocessor does is it takes the header file and puts it at that particular location since preprocessor is a not a part of the compiler it's not included in the compilation so you at the end of this include line you do not have a semicolon so preprocessor comes before compilation and it keeps the file ready so that the compiler can process your file now the reason why we include header file is it contains declaration of functions like printf scanf c has a rule if you are using certain functions like printf scanf the compiler needs to know before so that it does not end up searching for that particular code because the moment it sees the declaration of printf and scanf it knows that the linker is going to link it it does not need to bother about finding the code and trying to compile it that's what the job of this preprocessor does now the next two statements the advantage of header files is your 10 team members created say 20 functions and they create a header file called as projects.h with the declaration of all those 20 functions so you are able to use that particular header file in your own programs rule of the thumb you will have only one header file per line do not have hash include stdio.h then again hash include mat.h not permitted you need to have one header file per line now in the header file there is absolutely no c code it only contains declaration of global variables models or technical term for function models is or printf scanf model is prototype declarations and declaration of constants used by the code of yours when it includes the header files important thing after the hash include don't write any int main or any code here the int main needs to start on this line because any line which starts with the hash is processed by the preprocessor so this entire line is eaten up by the preprocessor so after the hash include stdio.h if you write int main that line is going to be consumed by the preprocessor and your compiler is not going to get that particular line so you need to have only one include statement or one hash include per line